I got a really good question the other day, and that was, it was actually two questions, kind of loaded. Why is the housing market the way it is, and do I see it changing? All right, so let's answer the second one first off. I don't have a crystal ball, so what I'm saying could be right, it could be wrong, but I'm going to tell you what I see uh, from just my continuous market research and just paying attention to history and what's happened too. All right, so why is the market the way it is right now? So right now, how is the market? As we all know, um, interest rates are going up, right? And then also the prices of homes are are pretty high. You know, they've steadily uh, risen. Now, last year they rose by, uh, and I'm, I'm gonna timestamp this video. It's 2023, right? Last year, uh, um, to this year, um, housing prices only went up by 3%, but before that, they were going up 9%, okay? And and I shouldn't say housing prices. Housing prices have went up higher than that. The economy as a whole has only went up by 3%, okay? The Fed wants to slow that down to 2%. That's why they're continuing to raise the interest rates. Okay, now, why are we... So that's kind of a, a snapshot of what, what we're looking like. Why are we that way? All right, uh, obviously... COVID happened, right? When COVID happened, what did that do to the housing market? Well, basically it froze it. It froze most markets, but no one could move. No one could sell their homes. A few people did. We managed to sell a few homes, right? But overall, the economy slowed down. They didn't want it to crash, right? So with uh, with that, people started staying in their homes more, okay? They didn't want to move. So um, you have that. That's one factor, right? People were in their homes more. Now, because of that, people had to work from their homes. Now, even people with apartments, they were like, hey, I got to get out of this apartment. I need to get into a house um, because we're at home all, already. Uh, we need a bigger house. So demand for houses went up. When you have a, a high demand and a, and a, and a low supply because everyone was like, hey, I'm keeping my house. I don't want somebody to come in here and I die just from walking through my house, right? So the, the demand for housing went up, but, but, the, you know, but the supply was low. Now, add to that Airbnb, right? Airbnb. I don't know if you know how much Airbnb has impacted, but so many people have bought homes, bought so many homes and turned them into Airbnbs. Well, guess what? There's less supply for people who just want to buy a home to live in because all those extra homes have been bought up and they're being used as Airbnbs a lot. OK, do the homework on it. So now you have this extra use. And, and let's be real. Uh, if you go out of town for the same price of a hotel, you can get a whole house. I'm taking it, right? I'm not saying it's bad. It just is what it is, okay? Now, then with COVID, what happened? The price of materials, people stopped working. We bought most of our things from China and they stopped making it. So what that means is builders, the prices of wood, everything went up because there was a high demand and a low supply. So builders couldn't even afford to build. First, they didn't have the people to do it. And then second of all, they, they couldn't afford to, to, to build uh, the home unless they already had stocked the materials, uh, right? We had a couple builders that did that. We were able to get by and get, get our homes completed. But you know that wasn't the case for everyone, okay? So that added to it. So that is, th those are some of the reasons why uh, then the interest rates were at an all-time low, right? Low interest rates mean more people can afford places, so the demand went up even more. So that's why the Fed is increasing the, the interest rate so that the demand goes down. I know it's kind of a rant, but that's what it is. If you really want to know, then I'm going to tell you. And if you don't want to know, that's cool too, you know? Um, see you later. <laughs> All right, so... That's why. But now, where do we see it going? Where do I see it going? Okay, so this is kind of interesting. So, the increase in the interest rate has, has happened, right? But there's still a high demand. 
So, if you listen really closely, I heard something that was said and it sounded pretty terrible. But I understand why it was said. Okay, if you listen closely, they said, the, the, the Fed said, and this is the, the, the federal government chairman, said that there's overemployment right now. Overemployment. Now, companies have, during COVID, they lost so many workers, they're holding on to their employees. They don't want to let them go because they know how hard it was to run their business without them. So they're holding on. The government saying it's overemployment because with all these people employed, the demand for goods, the demand for housing remains high. Um, they want they want people to lose their jobs. Uh, I don't know if they want it, but they feel that if if there's less employment, because employment are, are at all time highs, they feel like if there's less employment, people lose their jobs. Guess what's going to happen? There'll be less demand for goods. People will lose their homes. There'll be more, you know, there'll be less demand and more supply. So that sounds like the direction that they're heading. They're trying to go in. They don't want to crash it because they can't just say, hey, you know, we're just going to let let it everything fall apart. But that's not what is being done. Now, there's something else that's really key. An election year. We're one year away from an election year. The year before an election year, the economy is normally really strong and booming because people want to get reelected. Okay. Pay attention to what's going on. So a lot of times the economy will be boosted. I'm talking about money being put into the stock market by the government, like all types of things happen just to keep the economy going and strong before an election. That way they can get reelected. So there's that balance happening right now of, well, okay, I know inflation is out of control, but we got to keep people happy so that these parties can get reelected. So what, what does that mean? I don't see in this year things just dropping off and getting terrible and getting bad. I don't see prices going down anytime soon because they don't want to crash the ship. Okay. That's not what's going to happen anytime soon. So that's what I think is going on right now. So I think that, you know, prices are going to remain steady. They may even dip a little because of interest rates being up. Um, I think the demand is going to remain strong with the employment. Uh, so it's going to be a little bit tougher unless that uh, changes. All right. I'm Sean Calhoun with Pretty Home Realty. That is my market update, the status of what's going on now in 2023. If you agree with that, give me a thumbs up. If you don't, give me a thumbs up. I'd like to hear your comments. Maybe there's some other factors that uh, that we missed. You can drop it in there. And if you have a question, because that was a really good question, um, I, I'd be happy to answer it for you. All right. Until the next time, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. let's get it.